Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I kind of wanted to talk to you about the Wilton strips. I made them review when I just got them and I actually didn't know much about baking time or how much butter to put on a pan. First impressions reviews on my channel if you want to check it out. But uh, yeah, after reading a lot of comments, I figured out I was doing a lot of things wrong or not like the proper way. And yeah, I'm just going to show you how I've been doing this and it's actually been working. So a lot of people told me last time that I wasn't, well, the, the strips had to be soaking wet. I did that, but I didn't show you me into the water. So I just figured I might as well just show you how I do that. So after doing this, these things are pretty much wet. So I'm just going to be placing one in just one of the pans because I want to still to compare. So one other thing that I didn't do in the past is measure like the exact amount of butter that goes into a six inch pan. The exact amount is like two caps. I was adding way more than that because I didn't want to have leftovers from like a box and as a result I got like huge cakes and you can see that in the like first impression and this is what happened the first time I just actually forgot to add like butter and flour so my cake butter didn't stick to the pan and um yeah that was fun because i had to do the whole thing all over again oh no and yeah i'm just going to be baking them my oven is quite old that's another thing that i mentioned in the first like uh, review so it's a tricky one because i have to like change pretty much the whole setting every time i bake the baking time is always at 350. in my case i read a comment and they suggest me to bake at 325 and i did that and it turned out much better they still go brown on the top letting you know right now so it doesn't make as huge of, of an impact i guess so the cake looks kind of like brownish on top but it's not burnt at all it's actually pretty soft it's like normal it's a cake box but i wanted to show you this because i wanted you to see how different it looks from the one that doesn't have like the uh, wilton baking strip in there it has like a dome in there and i'm going to be having to cut a bit more than that it's like all that plus in like one centimeter down so i can have like an even cake but with this one as you can see it looks pretty even maybe i'm going to probably cut like the top part if i cut anything so this one is pretty much ready to go i don't have that much of an excess that i have to like not use and i think if you have a newer oven the top part is going to look not so like brown mine is like 15 years old and so i think that's why it looks like this i gotta get a new one but as far as for the strips they actually really work and i wanted to show you this because i've been using them for a long time and the more i use them the more i like them and i just want to let you know that they actually work i actually really like them they are real helpful and handy if you want to go for them kind of like clean the air after the mess that i made in the like first test one it was actually because of, of like mistakes that i was making and not because of like the strips but yeah i really hope you found this helpful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out the previous one that i mentioned before to have a laugh or just to compare check out more baking that i have on my channel and subscribe for more and let me know what you think of this one but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye